friends, it's Angie at the Stonecastle Hotel. Hi, I'm Robbie Howard, a Legends in Concert, and I play Frank Sinatra. And you know what? In Branson, we are full-blown Christmas right now. That's right. It is jingle bells everywhere. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and Frank Sinatra here, you actually have are doing some Christmas numbers in the show at the Legends in Concert. I am. I'm doing, actually, I'm doing a Marshmallow World, and I kind of do it as a tribute to Dean Martin. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, and of course the dancers are in there with us. And a um, little bit later on, uh, I do I'll Be Home for Christmas, and of course we all do Joy to the World and Oh Holy Night with Elvis. It's a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, you know, I grew up listening to Christmas carols and Christmas carols by a lot of crooners. Oh yeah. You know, I loved Sinatra, loved Dean Martin. Oh, that just felt like Christmas to me. But um, for me, now, living in Branson, Really what feels like Christmas to me is live music. You know, I love Christmas carols, I love CDs, I love carolers coming to my house, I love all that. But sitting in a theater with people who are singing Christmas carols brings a different spirit to it. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of, you know, there's, there's. I mean, we've got a ton of Christmas music in this, and it's so much better when you're when it's live. Ah, oh, you get all the feels, and I just love that. You know what, I can't imagine right now how much more special it would be if Frank Sinatra would read us a bedtime story. I think I'll do that. All right, let's do it. All right. Hi, we're going to be reading If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. It's written by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to the movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. When you give him the popcorn, He'll want to string it all together. Then, he'll want to hang it on the Christmas tree. You'll have to buy him one. On the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. Then, he'll need a carrot for the nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort he'll ask you to help him. Then he'll want to make some snowballs, have a snowball fight. Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. He'll ask you for a blanket. Once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to Christmas carols. You'll have to find some on the radio. He will probably sing along. The carols will remind him of the Christmas tree. So, he'll want to make some ornaments. You'll get some paper and some glue. He'll ask you for glitter. When the ornaments are done, he'll hang them all up. Then he'll stand back to look at the tree. He'll notice his popcorn string is missing. So he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn. And chances are, when you give him the popcorn, he'll want to take you to the movies. Yet. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was fun. You are so good. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm Frank Sinatra. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. We sure love you. Thanks for watching us and good night. Good night.